Manhattan is where you want to be. Whether you're a dancer, singer, DJ, model, actor, artist, or TV presenter from Africa. I can really understand why people consider New York City the greatest city in the world. I mean, it's a city that never sleeps. The Big Apple, call it what you like. It's iconic. I mean, the skyline, the yellow cabs. But it's not the city that defines you. It's all the individuals. Here, it's about your personal style. It's about your swag. It's about the clubs you go to, the people you mingle with. And I guess a very small part of who you are is the fragrance you wear. <laughs> the new perfume from Carolina Herrera was inspired by the city's famed 80s club Studio 54 and the VIP passes which owner Steve Rebell would hand out not to celebrities but to New York's most interesting people. Giselle Bunchen would fit the bill perfectly, making her the ideal face for this campaign. Discovered in Brazil, Shipped off to the States, arrived Shipped off to Japan first. I went there for my first trip when I was 14. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah, that was my first trip. That's where they send the models like, okay, you know, if you want to make some money, you should be a lot of catalogs and stuff. Yeah. And, um, and you don't have any experience, you go to Japan first. So yeah. I went there when I was 14 years old. And, uh, and then I went back to Sao Paulo and then I came to America at 16. Explain to me, what happened when you first arrived in New York? Were you overwhelmed by this place? Because this is, I mean, I, whenever I come here, I, I always say this is the best city in the world. I feel like you put your finger on the light shock it like yeah. that's how I feel like you arrive in New York City you know and um, and for me it was especially challenging at that time because I didn't speak a word of, of English which makes you not confident because you can't really express yourself yeah. and you know I have a lot of things to say <laughs> Giselle supports Doctors Without Borders and works for the UN Environment Program, whilst remaining the world's top paid model for a decade now. And then you met uh, Mrs. Carolina Herrera. Carolina Herrera is, is such a beautiful lady in all the qualities you know she has because she's so charismatic and strong and but such a family woman still like having you know uh, her profession and stuff and her company is kind of a family thing yeah. own company and it's so beautiful like the first time I came when I was 16 I did her show yeah and uh, she's always been so kind and so attentive and you know when you come and you don't speak a word of English you know I spoke Spanish a little bit and she's you know she speaks Spanish fluent that's her first language so it, it was so nice because she made me feel very at ease and very comfortable and then when she asked me to do this fragrance they came in all oh, like, you know, you're doing the, the fragrance for, for Carolina Herrera. I was so happy. It was like such a nice thing to how things go around. And then, yeah. you know, I, I, it's nice to be working with her again. But you're an icon to so many, uh, you know, South Americans. And, and you both made it in New York. And you've, you've had a similar path in life, if you think about it. And you're both very elegant and, and, and uh, you know, such creative people. Yeah. Um, I mean, do you think that's one of the reasons that, that this affiliation has... Uh, I don't know why she thought of me for the yeah. fragrance, actually. I, maybe I should ask her that question. But it is really an honor to be called for a project like this. And it was really fun. Like, I feel like... It's important to, have, to don't forget to have fun because life can get pretty serious sometimes, yeah. you know, and it's like, and it gets heavy and it gets stressful and, yeah. and it's like, why? Like, you know, no, like that's a choice, you know, and I think it's really fun when we can just be consciously just choosing every moment, like, okay, how am I going to make this fun? And I feel like this commercial was kind of like a very much fun because yeah. it was a lot of different people. Usually I work by myself. I mean, yeah. it's like me and like the team. So it was really fun to work with all these different eclectic people. I mean, we were shooting um, at night in like a party scene and, you, and it was like all this, you really felt the flavor of New York City. You really felt the, the, all these different people coming together and how it really happens in New York City. It's like, you feel like you're traveling the world in one room, you know? Exactly. It's like different languages, different culture, different people, different energy, different talent. You know, people who are very authentic, you know? Exactly. And it's VIP, but it's yeah. not really VIP because it's open to everyone. If you think but, the, but I think the VIP idea is yeah. that this VIP is not about you're famous because yeah. this is not the VIP. No. It's like, are you interesting? Are you talented in your own special way? Are you unique enough? Are you authentic? You know, are you this special, authentic self that and that's what makes you this VIP, I exactly. feel. You know, it was not about like a bunch of like no. celebrities they come because I, this is world is so like whatever. But so hypothetically, I mean, we could go for a drink in New York City and have a time uh, of your life, of your life, and I could be a VIP. Yeah, exactly. You know, I mean, really, I really feel that. I mean, I think it's a it's a, it's a room of really just really interesting yeah. people. So you know what? 
I don't know what to say because you're the number one supermodel in the world. You're probably the only supermodel that's left, but you, you're so down to earth. You're so real. It's, 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 but we it's are real. Yeah, but it's unbelievable. Right. Um, Honestly, you really do fit this brand. It's, it's, oh, it's, thank you. It's, it's, no. it's you in a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. How would you describe it? It's very sensual, yeah. right? It is Look, sensual. What do you think? It's very sensual. It's kind of fresh. Yeah. It feels a little bit like... It's, it's like a champagne rosé. But like, it's not too sweet either. Right, which is good because too yeah. sweet is not happening, right? No, like no. Sweet. I, li I like sweet, but not too sweet. Too sweet, exactly. It's a sweet, but it's a fresh sweet. Exactly. Don't you think? Exactly. I think we're going to call it fresh sweet. It's perfect. Yeah, it's a good name. Let's spray the room. Yes, exactly. Let's make there it fresh go. and sweet. <laughs> Giselle, you're awesome. Thank you so much for chatting to me. Oh, thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Saúde. Saúde. Essa tu sabe, saúde. Saúde. Então manda um beijo para tua namorada. Et te amo, minha linda. Isso, ó. Oh, he knows the right words to say. It's like my husband. He only knows that. I'm like, that's a good word. That's a good that's word. A good yeah. word. Cheers. Saúde. Can I have a kiss as well? Oh, yeah. Mwah. Of course. Mwah. Two kisses. One for me, one for you. On camera. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>